So I'm, I'm doing yet another video on the core temperature of a CPU and this particular CPU is the uh, AMD A4 3300M. Uh, it's one of the integrated chips with the graphics included in it, the Radeon graphics. And uh, it is a dual core as you can see here. Um, and it's 8 gigs. So let me uh, start it up right now. Um, you could see the core temperature is 45 degrees Celsius on both core temp and uh, CPU ID hardware monitor uh, right here. It's, um, both cores are 45 degrees Celsius. So let me uh, kick off the prime number, prime 95 uh, torture test to stress it out. So I'm going to do that. And as you can see, it goes from 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because uh, this is actually on a laptop, um, an HP laptop with the AMD A4. And I want to contrast this with the Intel i5 core laptop that I was running, which uh, went up to 80 degrees Celsius. Um, so in general, people maybe it's just reputation people believe that AMD runs pretty hot but I just wanted to demonstrate that the i5 the core i5 uh, actually runs uh, fairly hot in comparison um, you know 80 degrees Celsius is uh, you know not not exactly your uh, lower end temperature in all of these stress tests uh, so uh, just to give you a summary um, my Core i5 laptop went to 80 degrees Celsius, so this A4, um, and again I, I know there are different CPUs and there are different grades and uh, different classes, uh, but you can see this one's going up to 67 degrees Celsius, whereas my uh, desktop, uh, if you see the other videos, the desktop AMD FX 8 core uh, goes up to 61 degrees Celsius and that's that's its max so it is a huge contrast when things when CPU temperatures get up to uh, 80 degrees Celsius you kind of uh, you know do a double take because it is on the upper range um, but people do overclock up to uh, 80 degrees Celsius with uh, certain fans uh, but I also wanted to kind of contrast this with just how a uh, you know laptop versus laptop uh, with the Core i5 that I did in the other video being a laptop and this one being a laptop. So as you can see, this is kind of maxing out at 70 degrees, um, and it looks like it's probably going to be the max. Whereas with the i5, it just shot all the way up to 80 degrees. Uh, you know, in a matter of seconds. Uh, that is also a dual core with four threads, however. Whereas this one is just a dual core with uh, two threads. And you, you could see right here, um, the CPUs are at 100%, both of them, both cores. So I am stressing this out to the max as much as I can. Um, So it looks like for this, it's going to be about 71, 72 degrees Celsius. And if I power this down, or I, I mean if, if I really kind of shut this torture test off, you could see how it will nosedive. And you could probably hear in the video that the fan itself has kicked up. And if I actually stop it, yeah, so it's kicking up to 72 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to wait a little bit more and see if it actually goes up to 73 or if it steadily moves up to 73. Uh, but from my experience doing this in the past, it maxes out at around 72, 73. Um, okay. 
so it looks like it's wavering between 71 and 72 so let me stop these processes and it's going to shoot all the way back down to the 60s and then now to the 50s and then be at rest in the 40s which is it's uh, more or less idle temperature not necessarily idle but um, you know with uh, you know your average load there so uh, you know there you go that's that's really kind of uh, the summary and again I'm using uh, CPU ID and you can find all of these uh, software links in um, the description area if you expand the description area you'll see the download links okay thank you for watching